Mike's Daily Podcast. Hello and welcome to the show that I guess we are now in the 90s. Mike's Daily Podcast. FF episode 1990, 1990. That was the year I graduated from college. Wow. It's clear. It's been a long time and I'm old and... That was a different day when we had to use our answering machines to say things to each other like, hey, call me back. We don't have those anymore. Mike's Daily Podcast. Like nobody uses them. Okay, no, that's true. At my work, I get emailed the answering machine. Mike's message but those messages Podcast. are never left by anyone yeah. under the age of 25. I can assure you. People uh, that are, let's say, younger than 30 do not leave ever, ever, ever leave phone messages. Ever. That That is something you will never see. Just letting you know. I don't know what it is. They're afraid of their own voices. They're afraid of what they have to say. They were not conditioned the way we were. When the answering machine first emerged, I want to say that was in the early 80s, possibly even the 70s, but... In the 80s, we had the little cassettes, and then eventually it got digitally saved, and then we just moved into, uh, you know, the phone services would record it for you and set up a voicemail when you set up the phone system, and they just don't know how to leave messages. It's texting, and my lovely lady friend, I don't think she's ever listened to a voicemail I've left her, and that's too bad because they're the most romantic, steamy, hot Voice messages a man could ever leave for his lady. Just letting you know, I get pretty hot on my voice messages. But what I would do probably is leave you a, a podcast on. In fact, if you call 336 MM daily, you will hear like a mini tiny phone message. And here's today's podcast picture. Greeting. That's kind of like a little bit of a podcast, the Mike's Daily Podcast. But the podcast picture today is of a bridge. It's a beautifully covered bridge. Don't you love covered bridges? Aren't they the best things ever, covered bridges? Not the ones that are full of spiders. Covered bridges tend to get a lot of spiders because it's outdoors and the, bu- the flies are buzzing around, all kinds of bugs, and the spiders love it. But, no, this covered bridge is beautiful, and there were these beautiful shaped Carved pieces of bench Benches that were beautifully Manufactured And Basil Basil was there but This bridge was kind of far and I I, He can't walk like he used to and I wasn't about to I was just too tired to carry him over there To show him the bridge But my next step is To get my dog A little dog carriage So that he can at least Be mobile my, so, happening concurrently with all of this is my mom. She no longer can walk l- like she used to. She is missing half of a leg. And this is this happened a long time ago. I've talked about it before on my podcast. But it's very difficult for her to get around. And she just came back from a beautiful vacation in Biloxi, Mississippi, where they were having Mardi Gras. And she had a great time, but it was tough for her to get around. And she didn't bring her rollator. Yes, that's a thing. That's that thing, if you don't know. It's that interesting device that's on wheels that you hold. It's got like little bicycle handles type thing. Like you can hit a brake on it like you would a bicycle. And it holds you up when you don't got the best uh, leg power. And you can kind of walk holding, uh, leaning onto this thing and adjust your speed and how much your rollator will get away from you. And then lo and behold, you can turn it around. You can, you can turn around and sit on it. Now for the people that I've seen that are having leg issues and it's tough for them to turn around and actually sit on this thing. It's a bit of a, a maneuver and I applaud you if you have to deal with this sort of thing. But it's nice you all of a sudden you have a chair that you can sit on. It's a great idea. I think they're pretty dang expensive too. I think my mom got it used and it wasn't as bad. But Or no, she got it as a birthday present. But that's, yeah, they're they're very helpful. But she didn't bring her rollator to Biloxi, Mississippi. 
In fact, she just brought her cane and she didn't realize the hotel she was staying at. She went with a group. This hotel did, was like 22 floors and they put her on the top floor. And she's like, really? <laughs> I got to walk all that? Uh, they eventually gave her a scooter so she could put around on the scooter and was able to enjoy all the fun that Biloxi, Mississippi gives you. And that includes gambling. Gambling and with the group she was with She got free dinners and got to gamble And that's the kind of life that You know what, the best life that you can make it Is what you have And you just have to adapt My dog has adapted And he loves to sleep And he loves whatever, wherever we take him If we have to move him, if I have to pick him up He loves it he kind of looks like my lovely lady friend said You know he looks like he really enjoys that when you pick him up Sure because he's as close to me as you can be I mean I'm holding him like I would a cat or a baby My big 85 pound dog I'm holding him up Yeah See how long my back lasts Lift with the legs That's my suggestion today That's my tip today Lift with the legs Oh hey I have a secret envelope so the podcast picture is of As I fish into the secret envelope The podcast picture is of that bridge That's at uh, Stewart Mineral Springs You heard my lovely lady friend mention it a little bit When we were talking two podcasts back And it was getting dark And the interesting thing to me When I see this picture Is I think about the long, long drive We had to make from that spot Which was north of Mount Shasta So we're talking practically at the Oregon border But it was a beautiful clear day Oh And we had to drive all the way back to the Bay Area Yeah And we left like at 6.30 at night So it was dark the whole way But we had a fun time Basil the Boxer slept And it was just enjoyable Okay so, see that picture at MikeStillyPodcast.com Tell me what you think of it Tell me what you think about Rollators and everything else 336MM daily 3 plus 3 equals 6MM As in Mike Matthews daily As in what this podcast will try to be We'll see how far we get into the new week With doing podcasts A couple things So I found in this secret envelope Here at Cafe Anyway Located somewhere in Podcastro Valley 10 Today, the last place on earth Some great ideas about Decorating If you ever came to my house You would go Oh my gosh This house is beautiful From stem to stern Top to bottom If you ever came to Cafe Anyway You would be blown away by the beauty In fact there's a picture of it At mikesdailypodcast.com I just renewed the website domain So I now own it for a couple more years You're welcome So the My house is absolutely exquisite could it use some of those What do you call those things along the floor that, that You know connect the floor to the Wall What do they call it molding Is that molding Baseboards Could my house use some of that Yeah Is the Is there some scratches in my hardwood floor Yeah Is my paint The painting job that I did Painting The painting job at my house I don't care what you say It means a lot to me Because when I first moved to the Bay Area My then wife My ex-wife Her family came over and helped paint Every single room And I can tell you who painted every single room And it means a lot to me It that's I would never paint over the paint job they did because it, it, it said something And, I, and I, I, my ex-wife's family is still very dear to me I have not talked to them in a long time But I hold them with the highest esteem They were wonderful, fantastic people And tall people Good God Why do you have to be so tall? And I'm tall I'm like, well, I'm 6'1", I thought I was tall And then I met these people They're freaking, all freaking tall Not freaks They're beautiful And they're utterly Gorgeous people Beautiful inside and out Could have their own TV shows And TV networks Just the nicest people So I hold them dear Even though I haven't talked to them in a long time And I think the last time I saw most of them Was at my ex-wife's brother's uh, Wedding 
And that was in San Francisco And just a very memorable day Partly because I got to meet all these wonderful See all these wonderful people I hadn't seen a lot of them A lot of my ex-wife's family in a long time And it was nice to see them again Because my family is small Well I got a lot of relatives in Germany But my American family is tiny And so to to have like a big American family All of a sudden Was great for me And then when I got divorced It was like I lost a family It's like a whole family got torn away from me It was hard But they One by one Well some of them reached out to me anyway And that was good And I got to Stay somewhat connected to them And then at my ex Brother-in-law His wedding I got to see a lot of them And they were all really nice And Mike how are you Mike what's going on We had a great time In San Francisco Although I do remember That was at the time I don't know if, how long you've listened to this podcast But my feet This is the the other irony A lot of Discussion about mobility In this podcast today My mom's not very mobile My dog is not mobile at all And there was a time Oh was this 2018 I think so That I was not mobile Or every step I took was painful Oh so much pain I had been wearing a Well I'd just been wearing bad shoes Like Shoes that had been That were just so worn And my feet Are not the best feet to begin with And I just, I was wearing Like shoes that were too small Or they were too big Or they just were not shaped well to my feet And I basically Destroyed the muscles I split the muscles in my feet And had uh, stress fractures And I finally had to go to a foot doctor And she put me in a boot and said, don't walk your dog anymore Well, did I do that? I, I kept walking my dog Do we ever listen to our doctors? I guess we never listen to our doctors So I went and I walked my dog Because he kept looking at me I want to walk, I want to walk And now he can't walk, which is the irony But I walked him and I was in pain every step It was so bad that when I would take a step I would look first where I was putting my foot And if the ground was uneven in any way I would would try to avoid that area I would stop and I would find another place to put my foot And gravel was the worst I could not put my foot on gravel Because you know all the rocks It makes it uneven And you don't You know your foot is just finding a place If it's already in pain anyway That's the worst Not I was not that smart Let's just say Although Getting my Getting out there and walking a little bit Probably helped some You know the muscle not atrophy I don't know I'm not a doctor I'm not a I'm not a doctor Jim But it was uh, Eventually it healed And I attribute a lot of the healing process To getting a lot of sleep I was sleeping probably nine hours a night And just Forcing myself to get to bed early And I think it it helped and maybe I was also walking less <laughs> I got the, My feet gave me the They gave me the hint You need to stop Mike So All that to say That if you come over to my house You're gonna go Oh it's so beautiful And uh, Oh You don't have any crappy shoes anymore Mike That's a good thing Yes That's my other suggestion Be careful with your footwear Get Shoes that fit and that have a lot of padding And don't force your feet into the the What was this The way Steve Martin called it The dangerous shoes Or the uh, The cruel shoes I think is what they were Or something He had a little bit about that About how women will force their feet Into the worst type of footwear Now So be good to your feet Because you'll miss them when they're gone And then And that's from a Boz Lerman song That one That guy that gives the speech To the Graduating class It's on a It's like The Boz Lerman album If you ever look it up He's that director Of the movies The Claire Danes Romeo and Juliet With Leonardo DiCaprio And What else did he do Moulin Rouge And Strictly Ballroom Okay 
So let's say you're redecorating your bathroom. Remember, when planning a bathroom, and I'm talking about this because my bathroom needs to be remodeled in the worst way, and I found this a very good tip. When planning a bathroom remodeling project, to balance three, remember to balance three key aspects. Aesthetics, functionality, and maintainability. That's right. With a bathroom, you always have to be thinking about maintainability. You want your new bathroom to please your senses, but also provide additional features that are easy to maintain on a daily basis. When choosing colors for particular areas of your home, keep in mind the psychological effects of colors on your emotions. Warm colors like red, orange, and yellow can convey high energy, intensity, warmth, and comfort. While cool colors like green, blue, and purple can help create a feeling of calm and serenity. I think my house has none of the colors I just mentioned. There's no warmth and there's no cool. Cool. Uh, and that's sort of about all I wanted to mention from this article that I got from. Uh, it's a home and design. Oh, this was that magazine called Diablo. Uh huh. Did you listen to me on. Diablo Valley's 92.1 KKDV this morning I'm on every Sunday morning from 6 to noon Pretty much Definitely this month 6 to noon you can find me there at KKDV.com It's where you can find me there Okay That's great Oh wait what's it say Purchase high quality brushes, roller covers And masking tape to ensure the finish comes out smooth And taped edges are crisp without removing ex- Existing stains or finishes I guess that's pretty much a no-brainer. All right, outside a cafe anyway, do I see Billy Joe Armstrong? No. Do I wish I did? Well, eh. But I like his stuff. I like his music. Uh, Green Day, of course, he's the lead singer of. But what I find fascinating about Green Day is that they also morphed into these other bands. And this Diablo magazine mentioned that. In this little side section they called Splinter Groups While Green Day are still going strong after three decades The band often morphs into new formations To try out different styles and songs Sometimes at small shows In our region here in the Bay Area What's your favorite Green Day song? So one of my favorite Green Day songs Is not even a Green Day song It's a side project they did called the Foxborough Hot Tubs Oh my god this album is amazing I can't think of any of the song titles But oh, I love Well alright Wake Me Up When September Ends Is a big song with me Because I basically went through What Billy Joe Armstrong was going through In that song when his father passed away My father passed away in September as well And that song was a big hit At the time that it happened So it was In fact I was off the radio for about a week While I was You know Mourning my father's death And when I got back on the radio That song was playing Just out of chance It happened to be playing Because the radio station I worked for Had a playlist that I had no hand in Picking the songs I just talked at intervals And so it just happened to be That Wake Me Up When September Ends Was playing and it ended And I w- it was October at this point And I said Thank God September ended as the song ended Wake me up when September ends So check out Foxborough Hot Tubs if you can find it They also did, and they don't mention it in this article They missed one of their bands They had a band called The Network Which was, so Foxborough Hot Tubs Was all this kind of the 60s kinks sounding Early 70s type sound The Network was new wave synthesizers And that kind of sound But still, still kind of sounding Green Day-ish the cover-ups, fans pack into tiny East Bay clubs like the Golden Bull and Albany's Ivy Room to see uh, Billy Joe Armstrong and the other guys rip through classics by David Bowie, Tom Petty, the Ramones, and other rock legends. Cover-ups is what they call themselves. Then there was Forever Lee, which was Billy Joe Armstrong and Nora Jones. Don't know why I didn't come... But they did this tribute to the Everly Brothers And they covered those songs In a a special uh, collaboration between the two 
And then they did one called The Long Shot The guys from Green Day uh, They recorded the Hooky 2018 Pop Rock LP Love is for Losers And they actually rang in 2020 with a show at the Golden Bull in Oakland After Green Day played on a national TV broadcast from Hollywood earlier that evening Can you believe that? That's awesome And they own a bunch of businesses The guys from Green Day Atomic Garden Broken Guitars The Golden Bull Oakland Coffee And Rudy's Can't Fail Cafe There you go Alright let's get rid of that article Look who's outside here At Cafe Anyway Located somewhere in Podcastro Valley 10 today Hello Mike Matthews It's Shelly Two hearts Give Jeff Supervisor Billy Joe Armstrong It's like so cute Yes he probably is. Who, who else is here? Hello, Mike. This is Floyd the Floorman. And this is John Deere, the engineer. Mike, the network was a movie with Sandra Bullock. Mm-hmm. Network. No, wait. You're thinking of the net. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's what it is. Network was a movie about the news world and, and, and was very uh, foretelling of things to happen in the future of TV news. Shelly, did you ever see that? No, Mike Matthews, I have no idea what you're talking about, but Nora Jones is really wonderful. She is. What a voice. Are you guys all happy that you're mobile? Yeah, Mike, I really like being able to walk around because I'm Floyd the Foreman. And yes, we enjoy walking to and from places and getting cups of coffee. Mm. I've not been drinking that much coffee lately. I've been cutting down. I say saying that way though I just realized I had a blended mocha today. Ooh. All right. Well, got to work on my diet. Maybe that's something a suggestion to you. Work on your diet, but don't be crazy with your diets. Don't starve yourself. Make sure you're getting nutritious food. Look online for what nutritious food is. Okay, this has been an informative show. I think Ariel should pop in here any moment and take us out. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Next show, it'll be Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. And, by the way, you can see drawings of all of the Cafe Anyway characters at mikesdailypodcast.com. That was episode 1990, 1990, 1990 was the year Billy Joel had come out the previous year with Stormfront And then I think it was later that year he came out with the one that in the middle of the night I go walking in my dreams 1990 was the year that we had that Depeche Mode album Violator It may have come out the year before But there was a lot of songs that got popular And Personal Jesus All I ever wanted All I ever needed Is here in my arms What other songs am I missing from 1990? You can call me 336-MM-DAILY That's 3 plus 3 equals 6 MM as in Mike Matthews Daily as in what this podcast is Mike's DailyPodcast.com